Welcome to the darkest timeline live. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. With oh, all about Steve's Ken Jung, fourth lead, there second movie. Dig it. I was happy. It put me on the map. We are live. We are here. Some people with, just like to work. It's some fine. people just like to work. Work with <laughs> A-listers. Like a serial killer. That, that yeah. That is Joe McHale and that our special guest, Allison Bree. What Give up? It up virtually. <laughs> what up? She we're we're doing introductions in the back. To, by the way, thanks to everyone at Loop Live and OMG VIP for doing this. Yeah. And Allison just assimilated better than me backstage. She was like, What's up, Robert G? What's <laughs> up? She was it's just you just commanded the room. Shout just, out to my boy Robert G. <laughs> video <laughs> hidden, non-video participant. <laughs> Guys. Well, it is lovely to have you here. By the way, it, it, show the T-shirt that you have right there. It's called All Five All, Dances. All Five Dances. That is All a gift. Five Dances. All five. <laughs> I can. That's my impression of Joel doing an impression of, of Jim, Jim Rash right? as the dean. Is that offensive? It's meant to be. <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> oh, okay, great, 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 great. <laughs> but no, this is this was great. Sony actually gave us all, uh, except Joel. I don't think Joel got the guest, but they 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 gave us all like this all five dances T-shirt, oh. bottle of wine. Um, yeah. They gave Joel an all about Steve poster, so it was really good. Even though it wasn't a Sony movie, it's weird. It was Fox <laughs> Two Thousand, but whatever. You know, they're Pardon? big supporters of the podcast. It was the first time ever I ordered something from Amazon, and the person I bought it from just wrote back, "Why." <laughs> It was really weird. They're just like, why are you buying this? And I was they like, really, do you do you really think they they take the time to reply to dodgy gifts as but why? Do do people on the internet have time to reply to random things in the comment section? Yes, Ken, I think they do. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to our audience right now. Right now with the comments. <laughs> Chime in in the comments. Let me know if you like what I said or if you want to kill me. <laughs> I love it. Hey, all good. <laughs> well, if you want to wear my skin, comment below. <laughs> but speaking of which, by the way, Whoa, Allison Bree's new movie, The Rental, came out this weekend. Number one. Number one in the box office, so congratulations. So Thank you. And I actually saw the movie. It was amazing. That's Davey, her husband, Dave Franco, his first directorial movie. It was amazing. He did a great job. And, uh, you, know, it's, you know, it's good when, and you know, I'm not just saying it biased, when, like, I'm thinking about the movie the next day. And I'm, like, and I'm looking to see interviews with Davey. Like, does he explain certain elements of the movie? Because there's certain <laughs> things I... I didn't see coming and, and, and you're, you're great as usual. You're awesome. Dan Stevens, the whole cast is Toby Huss, really by the way, away that part about me. <laughs> well, I just don't, I don't, huh. well, because huh. we're friends, we don't have to keep, Interesting. we're friends. We don't have to keep saying you are amazing. Slowly. I'm sort of, I'm the one here on the podcast and just kind of just skipped right over that part no, about, no, no, no. Uh, I think, but I think it would come off insincere if I said like, it slower, like if it was all about Allison and not about, Dave or Dan or Toby Huss, who is amazing. If I said, That's and then Allison. Toby Huss more than Allison. I feel like he went like, Allison, you're always great. Dan. <laughs> Allison, Allison, you're, Allison, you were just finding it as usual. Huss. Dan Stevens, have you seen Eurovision? Holy oh shit. God. Amazing. <laughs> Toby Huss? Toby. Character actor Toby Huss? <laughs> Guys. Was, yeah. I do want to say for the record that Toby Huss is incredible in the movie. And I'm glad yeah. I actually do think you guys can tell when, when Ken goes into genuine mode, when <laughs> Ken gets very genuine and he's I, not joking. Right. He's I, very when, Usually when I get in doctor mode, it's usually I giggle, 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 giggle. And then I say, guys, um, we really need to do contact tracing for COVID. You know, and then I just kind of... <laughs> just thinking about or on set, you're just joking, 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 and then being like, but really, I should be wearing safety goggles if we're going to oh, really? do the shot with if there's, there's broken glass. <laughs> if there's going to be real broken glass. Um... That's a real thing, Ellie, where Joel and I, we, we did a fight scene on top where I'm smashing your car or Winger's car, and I was insistent on wearing with the With a guitar. 
Yeah, and the keytar. That's right. Oh, that's right. It was all, that with that whole episode with Annie. All five dances. <laughs> You did. Uh, we did ten thousand dollars worth of damage to that car. I oh, <laughs> wow! You that... Had it appraised after? Well, I no. said because well, that was a line. Crazy. That was a line from the. <laughs> like if you hit, <laughs> Alice is like, "Wow, <laughs> tell me more trivia." <laughs> so meticulous. So after we shot that scene, I was yeah. like, "Should we buy that? Do we purchase this vehicle, or did it go goes back to props?" <laughs> Well, oh I as a hobby, I like to do insurance adjusting. It's just, a fun. Cool. and I like to assess things all the time. You know how meticulous Joel is in his memory of of community. That's why we bring friends of community onto these live Q and A's because, like, hey, what about that episode? I don't know. Like, so that's like half the <laughs> answers from Joel. So I was like, you know what? The way to do these live Q and A's, let's bring friends of the show. I'm Cap an expert. I'm an all five dances <laughs> expert. Are you, you and I've watched. Do you, think on, do you think you have a better mem memory than Gillian on the uh, episodes? Gillian's good. Danny's good. No, I don't. <laughs> I mean, you always feel bad about it. I mean, it's like, it's, don't cry. It's like, come on. No, Joel, I don't. <laughs> God damn it. Jeez, I didn't. I thought you were going to challenge I'm trying it. to do one podcast without comparing myself to Gillian and her knowledge level right. of the show. Because everybody but knows no. it's either her or Toby Huss. That's everybody like, knows. Yeah, you great. can't have a pop and lockathon group without oh six members. That's really everybody knows. <laughs> Bing. Good. Wow. I have not hashtag seen that episode. Ken Jong. Hashtag <laughs> all five dances. <laughs> It was actually night. in that favorite in that same episode. The we were, we were Jim was on the last time on the Darkest Timeline Live, and we were talking about his favorite scenes, the the chloroform scene with you, Donald, and uh, and Danny. It's a still great one scene. of the best singular scenes, you know. And and I saw an outtake where I think you were mad, where Annie was mad at Abed for some reason or Troy, and then you still had your chloroform, right? <laughs> it's like try to chloroform <laughs> as an ad lib. It's Do Donald. It's Donald, and I just. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of <laughs> I still have I have a scar on my hand which you can't see and even if you could it's so small that I feel like Joel would make fun of me even more but I have a little scar on my hand from shooting that chloroform scene because you know <laughs> Unlike Ken, I did not take safety seriously. And I was just like diving on the back of that janitor's oh, that back yes, he's and great. flailing around and fully, he was just letting me do it every time and fully take him to the ground. And he would fall on top of me. And I got this weird, I got this gnarly little rug burn on my hand to the point where it started bleeding. And then they just came in with some of that liquid bandaid and put it over it. And then it, and then we just did it like fifty more times, and then it got infected, and now I have a little scar. Oh my! For a while the scar was like a kind of a little heart shape, but it doesn't really look like that. But doesn't doesn't. My chances maybe. as a hand. No, but scar. then Tom Cruise broke his ankle shooting that stunt, and totally possible they shut down for eight months. I Pretty mean, much the same, except I, we didn't shut down because I'm like maybe more professional. Wow. Well, I think Eagle. that's. Uh, well, I think it's a. I think it's foreshadowing. Is like who knew years later you'd be the star of Glow, where you're doing all your stunts, all well, your physicality, transition. which that's is a, a hard a thing to transition, Allison. That was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. Hey, and I your... just want to say. No, go ahead. Is your hand okay? She just wants to say no. something. No, it what, still what hurts. What do you want to say? Joel, hurts a lot. <laughs> I just want to say that I really love and respect Tom Cruise as an actor and professional. And I actually do find it very uh, inspiring that he does his own stunts, learned how to fly a helicopter. If you've seen the most recent Mission Impossible, then oh, yeah. you know. And if you haven't <laughs> seen it, check it out. <laughs> and, and, and where can you, what streaming service can you find it? <laughs> I'm, I'm not actually sure if it's on my favorite <laughs> streaming service. And what is your favorite streaming service? My favorite streaming service is Netflix. Oh, Thanks for asking, Ken. I'm oh. Allison Bree, and I love Netflix. I just it's love the, it. It's the perfect place what do to you spend. Love about it? Yeah, what do you love about Netflix? There are just so many different things you can watch on Netflix. Like my favorite shows, really? true crime documentary series, really? um, movies. Uh -huh. blockbusters yeah. indies you name it we've got it 
so funny because it's you know, the before, perfect place during so, COVID nineteen. I felt Definitely. like you were apologizing to Tom Cruise out of fear. Somehow you feared. Yeah, him. something told and, me. Yeah, but, but it's okay. We don't. To, oh, I'm inspired by him. I mean, if I was gonna fear someone, I I think Tom Cruise is worthy of my fear. He's a badass. Have you seen the stunts he does? He does them <laughs> himself. Maybe. Off that helicopter in that movie that we watched. Exactly. He was in that, in that helicopter and he was flying it for real. He was flying it for real. In Magnolia. Oh, he he's great in Magnolia. Oh my God. Dun, not dun. only that, not only that, he dropped the frogs himself. Did you know that? I did. Little I did hear secret. that he, he dropped the frogs. He was just frogs. like, I'll drop the frogs. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even need the credit. <laughs> like that was my favorite part. Uncredited. Movie, but all I uncredited frog, frog dropper. Is- like Tom Cruise was only on for like 14 minutes of that movie. And the whole time I was like, I just want to see the Tom Cruise movie. I this know. I, th- I think it's one of my, one of his favorite, one of my favorite, one of his favorite, one of my favorite roles he's ever done. I've heard it's one of his favorite roles of his own. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> But Toby anyway, Huss loves it too. I Toby heard Huss loves it Toby too. Toby Huss's favorite of Tom Cruise's roles. You got to check out the rental. It is so good. <laughs> I swear you will not be disappointed. I texted you after I saw it. I was like, "This is so good," and I'm just like, "It's it's good okay. when it's good when friends of mine are in are in good movies." And then and Joel was in a great movie, Becky. But you know, I'm just glad that he wasn't. You know, we loved you know, Becky. You know, it was just great. But- now, whoa! Don't oh. defecate. We're desecrate. Uh oh. <laughs> Come defecate, on, defecate. Don't, don't defecate. Don't defecate. Don't defecate. Defecate, Joel. Don't defecate. Joel, whatever you do, defecate. <laughs> okay, that's way better. I can't. Look, let's it just. It says the rental. It says the rental. Oh, the rental. Yeah, okay. I, I have good eyes and I could, I could read it and it says the rental. Yeah, so. I can read invisible ink too. It says the rental. No, I can read that shit. Thanks, Joel. <laughs> I don't have time to work on it. Joel, what did you think of the movie, The Rental? Oh, I haven't seen anything you've done since Community. <laughs> don't, you skip over her scenes, and these are Jeff and Annie scenes. Like yeah, You actually skip got, over her. Like, what's going on with Troy? You guys <laughs> going places. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just I don't want to do what Ken does and goes like, you're a great, it's real brilliant movie. Dan Stevens. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm, uh, Allie was great in the movie. <laughs> Dan Stevens, Toby <laughs> Huss. That's how Lena would do it. That's how Lena would do Jins. it. Yeah, that's how because you were are. doing. I don't disagree. Yeah. Sheila Band, Jeremy Allen White. Right. Let's just call out the whole cast here. Well, <laughs> now I feel like you are feeling bad because uh, the other cast members weren't being named. Joel, you're really projecting a lot of negative feelings on me throughout this podcast. Like, I'm afraid of Tom Cruise. I feel <laughs> bad for the cast. I hate Ken. Like, <laughs> I feel like maybe they're your issues and I, not my own. Uh, listen, Do you feel bad about the cast? I hate the cast, and I haven't oh. seen the movie. <laughs> oh, great, 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 great. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And okay, I- well, you know what? Let's get to these questions here. I'm having one. Nope, sorry, Ken. Yep. I want to hear about how Joel hated the movie. <laughs> I, um, I just think without seeing it, I think it was miscast. Ah, um, it was miscast. Like who should yeah. have been? Yeah, it was. I mean, yeah. look, My I role. judge movies oh. by their posters, and uh, <laughs> you don't love that. You don't like. You don't like that poster. <laughs> I want. I'm going to watch it tonight, unless. Chris Mintz Plass wants to play Call of Duty. Fair. Uh-huh. That's a fair deal. Yeah. I wouldn't turn down that do you play, COD. Do you, do you play uh, Call of Duty with, uh, with Mintz Plass a lot? No. Okay, great. Oh. Okay, good. Well, so yeah. Eric, you know, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You can't uh, turn I, and then you'll watch I, the movie I, the next. We used to play video games all the time, and Sean Brown from the Great Indoors. Great Indoors, yeah. And then um, we started doing it again. So... Uh, it's a wonderful way for them to, to, to chat with friends. So you and- are playing Call of Duty with Chris? Yes. Oh, yes. cute. He's you very- know what else is cute? You know what else is cute? These hmm. questions that, the, that they're asking right now. Uh- Eric, <laughs> VIP, it says, for Allison. For oh, Allison, Eric? compare and contrast being on Community and Mad Men at the same time. Oh, Great question. Oh. Eric, thank you for that question. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, 
<laughs> the sets of Community and Mad Men were very different. And, oh. and I, I also think they were especially very different for me because, you know, I was a regular on Community and I was recurring on Mad Men. So I really wasn't over there as often. And I think that the set was a little bit more intimidating for me than it probably was for people that were like regulars on that show. And it's not to say that they were, there were, there wasn't like joking and laughing on the set of Mad Men, but from my perspective, it was always really funny to go from one set to the other. Cause on the community set, <laughs> I like to describe it as like a group of unattended children on a playground. It was just like making fart jokes and pee pee jokes. <laughs> <laughs> and also kind of working, but really long hours and we're going crazy and we're just like constantly <laughs> laughing and giggling. And then I would get to Mad Men and it would just be like silent. And I was always like, I don't think the community cast would recognize me on the set of Mad Men where I would just be like, professional actor, dramatic <laughs> actor. I would sit silently in my chair and go over my lines. And when people would talk to me about subtext, I would go, hmm, hmm. And then I'd get back over to the set of community and be like, boobies and butts. <laughs> Wasn't that a song? And everyone was like, would high five me. <laughs> and then we'd moon each other with consent. And then we'd <laughs> dance around. <laughs> we'd be like, boobies and butts. Boobies and butts. <laughs> bo 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 boobies and butts. <laughs> I still remix. have on my that phone. Was the, that was the remix version of Boobies and Bucks. Yeah. That, I still yeah. have on my phone. There, there's something from season four when Malcolm McDowell um, guest starred because we tied him up. And then oh, yeah. there's like literally you for five minutes on my phone uh -oh. going, we got to tie him up. <laughs> tie him up. <laughs> tie, tie. Yes. It was <laughs> like. Tie him up. <laughs> tie him up. It's a classic. You want to tie him up? No, I'm going to tie him up. What? She's going to tie him up. We said he's going to tie him up. We got to tie him up. Yeah, so this is very different than the set of Mad Men. You're like, Mr. Ham, Mr. Weiner. Right. You can't do tie him Thank up you on so Mad much. Men. Um, and I feel like a lot of your songs, Allison, and Donald would always call you out because you'd always say something, a line, and then oh, I love that. always be, what? And then you would repeat that to yourself, the character, yeah. and the dialogue between yes. the person who didn't understand it would start throughout the song. The and rapper then, rapping yeah. would be like, then I said, I'm going to go to the store. Why? What do you mean? Go to the <laughs> yeah, store. Yeah. <laughs> going to go to the store and get some more of the things, those other things that I bought earlier today. Do you remember those things? <laughs> yes, yes. What? <laughs> And Donald will call you what? out. Donald will call you out if you're freestyling, rhymes weren't that accurate. And then you would always do like, here, yo, what are you going to do? And now I'm going <laughs> just a little bit. Because off. a lot of things rhyme with yo. This is a little <laughs> known rap hack. It's if you're trying to rap, you should just throw in some random yo's. And then you can rhyme go, flow, bro, Jojo, my mom's nickname. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Mm -hmm. Did I say go, go, uh, okay. flow? No. So you get it. Uh, fro. Well, okay. To and, and fro. Wait, Allison, is the glow set there? Wow. Oh my yeah. God. <laughs> Allison's <laughs> brain exploded. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> just, what? It's just like. <sighs> I was mostly disappointed that I didn't say the they, word glow as words you, Yeah. After the podcast, you'll yo. <laughs> after the podcast, you'll send a, an apology to the whole like text chat. Guys, I just made a big faux pas. I, I, I didn't yell, I didn't put glow in my freestyle. Listen, just want to get that out there. Words I acknowledge that rhyme it. with yo. I didn't say yeah. glow. I didn't say show. Yeah. I uh, I just wait. I didn't so say fro yo. Is the glow set as uh, you know, uh, jailbreak <laughs> as the community set was. Good question. Yes, but it's interesting because on the community set, you know, okay, here's the thing. The big <laughs> difference is <laughs> it is the same and we all are, are often very silly and it's so fun because it's like, 15 women and it feels like a sleepover and we joke around so much and are it's the same i feel like last 
no, our first season, we developed a whole musical based on something like in, in off moments between takes. But the difference is that on Glow, you know, I feel like the team captain a little bit more. Yeah. I'm number one on the call sheet, which was your position, Joel, on our show. And I feel like... Right, Ken. <laughs> what Ken, did I, I do? Don't forget it. Don't forget it. What did it, I do? I'm just Ken. listening. But, I'm just listening. Well, usually Ken gets defensive because he was a featured extra on the show. No, no. I was technically a cast member. I and just It just wasn't in a lot, but I'm technically... It's, he just, you know, Aww. riding such a really? high from the hang hang time, uh, yeah, yeah. hang time movies that uh, those animated uh, hang over, movies. Hang over, not not hang time. It hasn't been hanging that long. with Mr. Cooper. No, hang with Mr. <laughs> no, Cooper. hang over. There's movies. no ing with Mr. Cooper. No, just over. It was they just made over. it into a movie, I think. No, I I I don't remember that. I think hang over. So anyway, anyway I'm the yeah. lead on Glow. I lead lead on Glow. Right. Yep. Uh, yep. <laughs> Yes. Yes. You're setting the tone. Yeah. You're the captain. I feel like I want to, I like to joke around so that people are joking and having fun, but I feel a bit more responsible versus on community. I had the luxury of letting Joel be responsible and I got to be like, boobies and butts. <laughs> boobies, boobies, maybe it's a butt. Joel, do you and remember? I would walk in with a pipe going, is Allison singing again? <laughs> That's yeah, you'd have a smoker's jacket. <laughs> ah, um, nice to see. Is it? Oh. Is that? Is that a thing again? I'm going back into my flat or whatever. Okay. Um, Great accent. Your accent. Your <laughs> <shenanigans>. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Now. Joel, you should. No, sorry, not you, Joel. Ken, you should play Sherlock Holmes. What? Have you ever <laughs> considered it? Yes, I can do a great Sherlock. You know. Hey, Holmes, the victim semen is right there. So there you go. No. Wow. Whoa. Boobies and butts. Wow. I get like we you had can to go giggle. Blue. Oh, but I say victim semen and then whoa. Okay. Anyway. We were just, just reacting to the accent mostly. It was I was way more disappointed. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Justin what I thought. And why do all your British, like your Sherlock Holmes, you kind of sound like um uh what's his name? Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> That's what he's basing it all on. I don't know. It's just great. It's good fun. The Prince of Darkness is today. It's great. I know who ate the bat. It's, it's myself, isn't it? Talk more about the victim semen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that semen? How, what, what could they use it for? How much is there? Where in the room is it? Uh, Justin VIP asks, <laughs> <laughs> taking the heat off me for a second justin vip says what are some of your favorite jeff annie moments every community fan wants to know Ooh. <laughs> um okay okay i like the core forms that scene that, that yeah. i'm not right Joel, how dare you <laughs> i love that scene it Dan is Stevens is amazing in it. <laughs> he wasn't in it. it when I think of Dan it. Stevens, I think Eurovision, chloroform scene, Downton Abbey. That's, yeah, that that's order. the order. <laughs> um, okay, I think I would say Jeff Annie moments, um, original kiss, oh. very sweet. Yeah. Uh, I would say- Season finale, That was that the first time? Season finale? Season uh, one finale one. Yeah. episode. Yeah. Then I would also say season five, entire ass crack banded episode that's a good jeff and annie episode right. working together it, yeah also okay wait i have two more but i forgot one. Oh, i got it okay the first one is the episode with professor professorson it's got to be season two and season that's another two. it's like similar to ass crack bandit in terms of like jeff and annie go on an adventure they're trying to figure stuff out and then the final one I'm going to say, which I think is also season two, is when we did the clip show with the fake clips. And I forgot about this, but I recently rewatched it. And, you know, there have been a number of fan videos made for, you know, uh, shipping the Jeff right. and Annie relationship. Sure. And one that uses maybe a Sarah Bareilles song, I feel like was there was like a. 
Watching the episode made me remember the actual fan video <laughs> that Dan was spoofing <laughs> in our episode. It was like based on an actual fan video and it's you and me and they're taking like very innocuous looks from n like non-existing episodes and putting this music to it. And then they do the same thing with Danny and Chevy and it's really funny to the same song. That was amazing how Dan would incorporate just everybody, you know, just the the fans and everybody in the show and the shipping. That I totally vividly remember that. And then from there, then they do an Abed Pierce kind of like fake yes. shipping parody of like <laughs> and a Jeff Annie. It's the same. It's just like from <laughs> random clips that we've already seen in the episode, but now they're in slow motion to this romantic song. Yeah. And you're like, that, oh. Do you remember the episode where we were looking for? It was it was just Jeff and Annie, and it was the B story, and we were looking for uh, this person writing love letters to me named Kim. Yes, yes. <laughs> I love that episode. And it's it's the str it's a very kind of peculiar, like a, it's a wild goose chase we're on, and then yeah. we get like this speech at the end from that guy who just dressed me down <laughs> for assuming that his name. <laughs> that woman but also, are you not bringing it up because that whole storyline, I think, we, we can was based it. on Dan's actual mm -hmm. interaction with like a Sony executive named yep. Kim. And so yep. he just wrote it and it was always stuff like that, that we'd be doing it being like, this is so funny. And then someone would be like, well, you know, it's because of Kim right. at yeah. Sony who blah, blah, blah. And we'd be like, what? Yeah. That makes it way funnier. Yeah. I mean, and, and, and Dan just came up with that story like a few days before production because I had not been in a couple of episodes and Pat Kindland, the, the line producer would tell me, Ken, gear, gear up, you got to not, because apparently it was going to be Chang with Jeff and Annie, like helps Jeff and Annie get rid of a rat. S swear to God, it was, but and it, it, they never used that. Uh, <sighs> so... <they> <laughs> Bummed that we scrapped that <laughs> hilarious and original storyline. <laughs> oh, what could have been? <laughs> oh my god! But the twist: the rat was from CAA or WME. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh yeah, it was an agent. Uh, joke yeah, every the pilot season. The rat was got really meta. Yeah, the rat being an Chevy's agent. Chevy's actual agents. <laughs> <laughs> but it was but it just showed how like Dan would incorporate I mean I was he he said after that episode he would love to he wish he did, had done more of those kind of you know you know you know more personal meta his frustrations with the studio you know I feel like there must be so many more in the show that I don't even know the truth yeah, behind right. but maybe sure. some of you guys do I feel like as I've been rewatching it right. I, there were certain things that I'd be like this has to be based on something, but I, but not something I was privy to. Well, there was an NPR interview with Dan. I remember hearing him say it. He just said, I was, because the whole thing had to do with post-it notes, right? Wasn't it post-its on your locker, Annie? Or like, no, it was love like, notes. Love notes. And no, wait. Said, no, it was hate notes. Hate notes. Then, But they're all like notes, right? They're like <laughs> on little post-its. And, uh, and Dan's response was so classy. He goes, yeah, it was just me being... I'm just sick of Kim and his notes. <laughs> That's what he said in the interview. <laughs> That's what makes it even more genius. I'm sick of Kim and his notes. I'm going to make it the C story of yeah. next week's And using episode. notes with Jeff and Andy. <laughs> this is just These bullshit notes. Thought. I wonder what Kim thought when he saw it. Uh, well, later he later helped me produce Dr. Ken, and it was just oh. kind of like, it was, so I know everyone at Sony like very well, and it was just, it, I think everyone at Sony viewed community at that point in the game of like, well, it is what it is at that point. They established their DNA as like, you know what I mean? That I think after a while, they just said, well, that's just community Same. for you. You know what I mean? Mm. And for better, for worse. In, in other words, they're like, okay, we won't interfere. That's a, that. That's with my, that was my. They were like, what's and me, that show? And that's look at me. I'm junior vice president sack? of programming at Sony. <laughs> yeah, you know how Johnny is... corporate I am right now? <laughs> uh, definitely. Thanks, Sony. One thing I remember is just how much I loved Sony. I love yeah. Sony. And I do because it, it gave me a show. Dr. Ken, still on Crackle. And it just, it really does. So <laughs> I just still. love the vertical integration that Sony has from electronics to the PS4 mm. to movies. <laughs> what, really? what did you say? Electronics to what? <laughs> what did you say? Uh, 
So the PS4, which is the okay. Point. I thought you said penis fort. I didn't uh, the penis fort. They are known for their amazing <laughs> penis forts and the devices on which you can watch Netflix. So I'm all <laughs> yeah. so many products. But that's I mean, the beauty of looking back at these things. There's all water under the bridge, and it's just like it was going to be in his rental. That that's was the sequel. That, <laughs> that was that was that was a thrown away story. That was a thrown away. That was a throwaway pitch. With <laughs> should you have a a, 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 a like blanket for fort weekend? versus a peanut for penis fort? And they're like, how about pillow? Okay, yeah, 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 pillow. Okay. okay. okay sure. <laughs> that would um. You know what I like here is they say uh, Andres. Andres asks, Allison, how did you come up with the too many feet bit with Danny? It's pure. <laughs> yeah, I, can't, I was going to say, I can't take soul credit, but oh God, the joy <laughs> it brings me to be asked about the too many feet bit in this conversation. Yeah. Um, the fact that too many feet, that that as a bit has lived on is why the community fans are the greatest fans of all time. Yep. Um, that video Danny and I were talking about it recently because we were like, who was filming it? You can hear them laughing. We were trying to deduce like who on the set was filming it. And it was just a classic. I feel like Danny and I, all of us, we're always kind of doing stuff like that when it was four in the morning. Right. I think that the original impetus for that video, because, okay, Zan play Zan plays a part in that music video so too many feet right it's like <laughs> conceptually it's a it's like a pop um like trance like german song oh, God, we're gonna, yeah. and <laughs> so that bit you know i think that we were just trying to incorporate a dumb song that we had made up that we couldn't get out of our heads and then we wanted to also add in this actor named Zan who you guys, Joel, don't tell me you don't remember Zan, who had, it was an actor, and I don't think this exists anymore, but he had a website um, that was just like a personal website as an actor to promote himself, and he had made some short films, and the films would be like, I'm Zan, and then he would like do a scene. It's coming back to me, but <laughs> it's, you remember well, that? Uh, I don't. I don't. I I'd like to incorporate just... that in the. And I'd like to incorporate that in our podcast. I think we get, we get more viewers. Oh, Wait. Oh God. I'm what gonna... was his last name? Uh, uh, I don't. I have one of And reach out to the, in the questions. Ask him. Oh if yeah. Any yeah. Anybody? Anyone who remembers Zan or you know in the video? X A N. X A N. X A N. Zan. And by the something. way, this is a good time and... to give a shout out. There's so many podcasts out there, like give, like they gave raffles. Like Matt from Communities gave raffles. Just want to give a shout out to Six Seasons in a Podcast, Community Rewatch Podcast. They're like seven podcasts. Fluffy Town, Save Greendale Committee, Greendale Three. Welcome to Greendale Advanced Community Studies. You can't disappoint a podcast. Like literally, all the like they, they comprise. They really contribute to Darkest Timeline Live, especially they would, if anyone would know, like who Zan is, like they would know. What's so. happening? Is this just a commercial happening right now? No, Ken? no, no. I just, I was just, I was just, I was just looking. You're I was just, just saying, looking. you're just being sweet. You're being no, sweet. Being sweet. A commercial right now. Yeah. No. Oh, <laughs> oh. Okay, no. A, a commercial for buff chess. <laughs> Yoked. <laughs> Yoked. Uh, Where can I buy that? I would like to purchase. All five dances. <laughs> okay. Here's an ad. Here's an ad oh, for you guys. Yes. Wow. <laughs> guys, who am I? Here's an ad for you guys. <laughs> Jim, Jim Rash. You're Jim Rash. That's... No, Kim. Kim from Sony. Uh. <laughs> Kim was always doing that. Classic Kim. Kim was just always into the, always into those in jokes with his t-shirts. <laughs> All Remember? about his chest. Yeah, about we were his like, chest. we get it. And, uh, and all his logo t shirt. Remember, he came in with that who farted shirt on? Endless. He was like there for a week. Um, uh, okay. Will you send me the document with all the questions on it? I don't know why I don't have it. Yeah, I'll. Um... You have it, Allison? And how are I the eyebrows? I don't want it. I just wanted to. I have, felt like I had a little sweat well, if you, glow. If above you go on my chat, if, there. <laughs> if you go on chat, you'll get. Do you, you have the spreadsheet? If you go I on do chat. Now, and then okay, I good, do good. Sorry. Good, good. Um, and by the way, I just have to sweaty. They look super say, sweaty. Uh, no, that you're not a sweaty. I couldn't. It, and now that you pointed it out, it seems like the sweatiest spot on the planet right now. But okay. I don't but. know. I think it's now more here. 
sides of my nose. T zone. Yeah, we don't. Okay. All right. Just you, guys, like, <laughs> you guys down with the T zone? No, we're okay with the T zone. I just want to go. I just want to. We don't have to. Explain Joel, the it's the most oily <laughs> part of a person's face, and it's right here across your forehead, down your nose, and on your chin. <laughs> where a lot of oil pockets is, <laughs> exist for people of all ages. And it's important if you're going maybe. on a red carpet, you maybe want to blot them or use a little powder. But also there are serums and face washes you can use to, <laughs> to treat this oily problem area. Wait a minute. And they're made at Netflix. There. Thank you. <laughs> I love you for that. <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> landed. Landed. We were all worried. Job. I know I was I was concerned. And then you boy, you just slammed it home. You're like the Michael Jordan of obscure Netflix bits. You're like that good right now. Thank it's you. <laughs> um and let me go to a question for you. Oh, there's none. <laughs> oh, guys, should I I'm a guest here, so should I? I don't need to be like looking at the spreadsheet. No, no, I don't shit. want you to look at it. No, no. <laughs> look at that. Um, so I call it a spreadsheet because I don't even care. <laughs> so, All right. Uh, Allison. That's some me people don't know about. Shit. You are really serious and still just angry. I'm back. Just kidding. <laughs> so <laughs> look like Sarah looked like we answered Sarah VIP's question um, about uh, or or we, oh, no Rohit's uh, question about the chloroform scene. I really want to answer as many questions as possible for Alice. Um, so Colin, Colin asked, who do you think uh, the ass crack bandit is? What was his or her motivation? <laughs> I, I mean, I don't. I don't why, know why, why you, you would like ask. Me, I don't know why you would ask me specifically, like who the ass crap band. I, look, I don't even. I can't even <laughs> speak. I'm like Paul Blart, Mall Cup. I don't. I. I don't know who that person is. I feel like that's more of like a Dan Harmon question, and like I, you know, was one of the characters on the show, so I don't really no. even know. You it know? sounds exactly like your reaction in season six in the finale when they were asking who well, the react. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, Wait. that's, that would be, I mean, could be anyone, you know what I mean? Could be. <laughs> could have been anyone. So, you know, my, I think they um, did it because they liked butts. That's just a <laughs> hypothesis though. That's a lot of, <laughs> I'm just an actor. I can't really say. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, sorry. I blacked oh out my. for a second. Are we still talking about? No. Um, <laughs> We're talking about, if you, talking about Zan. if you want more of that character, watch her in the rental. Exact <laughs> character that she plays in the rental. It's great. Classic Dan Annie. A lot of Annie Edison stuff in the rental. Dan. <laughs> great. Um, here is another great question. Um, just yeah, just ju Justin in general just wants to know what were your favorite moments for Annie? Just in general. For that. Annie. Yeah. <laughs> What were your favorite Zan moments? Oh, Zan! <laughs> oh man, yeah, 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 yeah. So many, like the whole website, everything about it. Zan, if you're watching, you're iconic. Um, favorite Annie moments in general. I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's probably all the Jeff and Annie moments that I already mentioned are all up there. I like the. Uh, that's a good. Uh, you know, I like Annie and Abed doing the. Uh, 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 <laughs> well, great That's answer. Great. Uh, so next, <laughs> yeah, next. Um, Dreamatorium. Dreamatorium. Dreamatorium That's was great. that was trippy. That you, you guys didn't know. You didn't. No one had. We didn't have the script at that time, right? So we were just kind of without a net, from what I remember. That was, was that right? one of those episodes. Yeah, where I think Dan would come in and be like, "Okay, so Allison, you're standing here, but you're Annie, but you're actually being Abed. So it's like Abed's being you, but it's in your body." So you, Allison, are talking like Danny as Abed through your body, and then Joel is the doctor, and that's the scene. And we'd be like, great. <laughs> um, I'm psyched. <laughs> um, another, good, another good episode. Why don't we say our favorite Annie, Annie moment, Ken? Joel, no. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Oh, you know what? Annie movie. Talking. You know what? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Are you just gonna no, write Annie? Joel, Joel. 
No, I want to hear Joel. I want to hear your favorite. Yeah, animal. what's your favorite? What's your favorite Annie moment? Um, well, Dan <laughs> Stevens. Dan <laughs> Steve when Dan Stevens did that oh. recurring arc on Community. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Boy, I well, uh, now I'm going to compliment you. Hold on, your hat. Uh, believe. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, wait, oh my God. She, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is that? Wait, is that a unicorn? What the fuck are you wearing? All right, Joel, I'm ready. <laughs> what is that? I'm ready. What is that, a I, unicorn hat? I'm yes. so confused. Do you get, is this how you prepare for compliments? Yes. <laughs> now, do you wear this kind of, do you, ready. young lady, young lady, do you wear this for like an extra, for like an extra interview or an Access Hollywood? No. So for our podcast, no. <laughs> Ken, I'm not trying to be extra if that's what you're asking. I don't even have to try because I just am. He gets really upset when you say extra around him. <laughs> I'm not it. even. Don't say it. Don't say the word. Don't, don't say, the say word. it. Featured. Don't. Don't. I'm going to leave this meeting. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave this meeting. <laughs> <laughs> meeting? It's on Zoom. So. Oh, I didn't realize I was having a meeting. Uh, <laughs> well, Allison is checked out. You, uh, She just left. Al She's ready. Allison, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Allison? <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, you can wear you can wear the hat for the rest of the interview if you want. I, I really don't mind. It was just a bit. It wasn't even... It wasn't even like, I know, I know you're really busy promoting the rental and it's your husband's first directorial, you know, movie and you've been through a lot, you know, you're just, I know. You're making her and, cry, Ken. No, I just want to say, I'm sorry. You can wear the hat the rest of the time. I'm sorry. I just, it, it's just that I, it's, you'd got, if you had gotten that, remember that email I said, <laughs> I don't want anyone in caps. Do you remember that email? Remember that email? I was like, I don't want anyone. But it's fine. What It's okay. I just feel like. <sighs> It's, but we can make an exception. Rules are made to be broken. You can. He's look. pooping now. I hope you're happy. Oh. I just don't. I... <laughs> Extra. <laughs> and that is a reenactment of a classic scene on the rental. Watch it. <laughs> if you want more, if you want, she wears a unicorn hat. I just didn't want spoilers. I, do, I, I just feel you. like my hair placement in regards to this is great. Do, I, so I hope you, people are watching because oh like, if God. you want to know the most attractive way to wear one of these, Look. <laughs> this is more, this is like the best position. You know, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why. No, someone says, no, that screen grab. I can't get well, that screen grab. I'll yeah. never live it down. I don't know why, but you look like young Paul McCartney at Halloween. I don't know why. I don't know why I think that. And I'm like, hello, young Paul McCartney. I'm young Paul Where's McCartney. Yeah. About the victim's semen. <laughs> it's a great song by Wings. It's a great oh, song man. by Wings. I remember that great iconic photo of Paul McCartney when he wore the inflatable unicorn hat. <laughs> Classic McCartney. That was Magical Classic. Mystery Tour. Classic what are you talking Beatles about? You're acting like McCart. I'm an idiot. Yeah. You're, acting, you're acting like I'm an idiot. Okay. Uh, let's go back to community here. Robert says, what are your favorite tags at the end of any of the community episodes? Ooh. I like the tag where uh, Joel is sitting there in a black shirt and jeans, and then Danny and Donald walk in wearing a black button-down shirt and jeans, yes, and great. you do a whole bit with them where you're like, yeah come on. And they're just saying what you say where they're like, come on. And then you get so pissed and finally you leave. And then I come in at the end also in a black shirt and jeans. And I'm like, did I miss it? Which I had totally forgotten <laughs> that that That's happened. So good. But I you know, that. I got, if I got, if I'm going to like a tag, it's going to be one where I come in at the end. <laughs> at the end. <laughs> That's good. Like, what what other tags did I love? Uh, <laughs> Come on. You know, can you rank the tags? Troy and Abed and Annie in the morning, you know, or like Troy and Abed nights with Annie appeared. And I actually don't know if I was in any other tags, so I can't remember them. You know what I mean? What? Well, okay. All right. Classic unicorn. Um, I was wondering. Um, okay. Uh, what is, uh, this is just a general question. Uh, for the table read, was it weird to be returning to your characters all the time? Did you have 
to do anything to get in the headspace. I think the reason I bring that up is like Abed, like Danny, I thought had to do the most adjustments in general, you know, of all the of all the actors. Yeah, just to get that's into, interesting. Dan Stevens yeah. too. And Dan, Dan Stevens. Dan, Dan, all the Dannys of the of the show. Yeah, had, yeah, had yeah. And Zan Stevens. <laughs> Zan Stevens. <laughs> so. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> the aliens have come for Joel. I did not, I definitely did not feel like we had to do any prep work, uh, for the table reads. And, and even on the show, I felt like when I talk about the set and how jokey we were, I also feel like that just fed right. We were kind of like already just in a mode and that yes. fueled the scenes. Yes. So it wasn't like, it made sense to be joking around. We weren't taking away, maybe adding time to production. <laughs> but, but no, there was a, there was a, there was a lot of uh, waiting around in which we filled the space. There was to screw around during lighting of scenes. Yeah, like an hour yeah. per setup. No, but I had a particularly, uh, there was, the lighting was, would go on forever. And yeah, I think it was almost like a weird improv exercise where they're like, when you run out of ideas, just keep going and see what happens. And that's when all the most wonderful, goofy stuff would come out. And totally. then it was it was and I was like in between takes, it was just always Monty Python levels of absurdity. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it also, I think, was a way to keep our energy up because we did yes. shoot such long hours and often just sitting around the table until we got into the, you know, obviously later there were, I guess not often. We always started sitting at the study room table. Stop arguing with me. Anyway, <laughs> the point is, yes, we did lots of things. We sat, no, we no ran one's, around, no but <laughs> look, keeping the energy up. That's what I'm talking about. Keeping our energy up. And I still agree with what I'm saying. Ken? Patrick is asking, would you go into details about the origins of the let him finish running gag? Do you remember that the first time? Let him finish. That, I think that was Chang that? with with Winger's monologue or was let it Britta? Finish. Britta did that also in the timeline episode. Those are the first two times I remember hearing that. Let him finish. And then there or, was just... Or did Britta do it in the early in, for, in season one and mm. Ken was like, let her finish. <laughs> I don't know. I yeah. really don't remember. I don't, I, was that, and please correct me, but I feel it's such a funny joke, but all the time. It couldn't, it couldn't have been a what? I don't, but I, did Dan basically, because now I feel like you hear that joke all the time. Right, so maybe our show didn't. That joke? I don't know, that was gonna be my question. I was like, did we make that up? Was that not like comedy canon? Oh, the let him, let him finish? finish. I think they, I, th I remember on the wedding episode and the Yahoo season where Chang did a monologue and they did another yet let him finish. So I remember seeing it. The on Yahoo screen. season? That's, Ken, that is not the origin yeah, the of it. Nobody's, nobody, yeah. One <laughs> the thing Yahoo the season. Of the joke, not just on the show. <laughs> in, as Allison said in comedy canon. <laughs> Joel, I'm with you and Ken's like, Ken's like, no, in season, I said it again in season six. All right. <laughs> Ken's like, ah. it's, that's what we're talking What am about. I like? What am I like, Allison? He's like, meow, meow. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and then he's like, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. <laughs> you know? Yeah, um, yeah. But another good chain <laughs> bit. That was also not originated on our show, but that I that I liked that spread to everyone was like Chang being like, "I'll allow it," or or Chevy. I don't know. I feel like yeah, there, there is yeah, that was that funny. Was, that was in the. I just remember seeing there was a frog episode in the classroom. And I said something like, "I'll allow it," but it I'll became a meme. It. it became a gif. It became what? one of those things. Um, but <laughs> congrats, Ken. Oh, you know when else there was a let him finish. <laughs> During the kettle corn scene of that one episode, oh. and Joel's going on and on saying bad things about Chang, and you yeah. might think he this, and you might think yeah. he this, and then you're let him finish. Yeah, yeah, that Maybe was that the one. Was the first time we did it. That was I, season two. Yeah, I think that was the first. That was the first time someone compared two? someone compared Winger describing Chang as to like someone describing Trump <laughs> or something like to justify the person's sure. existence. It just made me laugh. I just I just saw that on. Oh, Jenny asked Allison, "What would be the glow personas for the community cast?" Oh, oh that's a great question. Ooh. 
whoa, that is a great question. Right? Um, <laughs> Why is it a great question? Well, because <laughs> I have the perfect answers for it. Oh. <laughs> the best ever answers to this question. <laughs> Get ready. It is a great question because it's very easy to put the community cast into wrestling. Well, like even just to separate them, like, heel or baby face oh there you go good guy or bad guy yeah you know yep. uh chang would obviously be a heel, heel. yeah <laughs> abed would be a baby face. <laughs> you even say baby face like a baby face <laughs> annie's a baby face of course <laughs> and then there are questionable characters like jeff what, well yeah what is jeff do you think he's uh he's definitely a heel and his gimmick is that He's very handsome and he pretends to be a face, but we know oh. that he's really a jerk. Hilarious. It's a great gimmick. Is he a heel that turns baby face at the end? You know what I mean? Like some no. of them. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you know, he's the smarmy lawyer. He's like the handsome smarmy lawyer. And he comes in with just a singlet that looks like a business suit. <laughs> oh, I have one. I have, that. I have one. You have one of those? Perfect. For weddings. I don't remember this episode. Oh, I think I remember the episode now. Allison, how did you get Joel back for throwing a basketball at your head in the drone scene? I think that was the trampoline oh, yeah. episode yes, but i don't was, was that in the was that just an outtake or was that not it wasn't in the episode so uh, that was uh, just an outtake okay yeah what the hell joel well, <laughs> well why we uh, well, i was like is that why you have your is that why you have your hat on it's like a little bit of like a pillow oh, you okay yeah it's like yeah, you sorry. know when you get butt surgery and then you have to sit on a pillow for a little while this is what is i've it? been had on my head for 10 years joel is it so really like butt surgery? Yeah, is it like butt it's surgery? exactly like <laughs> really? anal surgery. Really like anal surgery? Yes, yes. Damn, I was violently doctor. assaulted with a basketball. And <laughs> that's, it felt uh, like that's... anus surgery, which I had had just six months prior. Really? Oh. Yes, and I've been told I have one of the smallest I think it's, anuses. As a, as a doctor, it's probably best States. to keep... <laughs> as a doctor, I think it's best to keep physician-patient confidentiality. I don't oh. think you need to say... I think I should <laughs> More. No, I think, more detail, no so. I think I think oh. it's just I think confidentiality. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. I don't think well, we I mean, need to you're talk. You're a doctor, so I don't, <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Wait, Ken, can't she discuss her own case if she wants to? True. Yeah. If you really want to, I don't think you need to. I don't see any questions here. I don't he see any VI. Case. I don't see any questions here. Hey, talk about your multiple anal surgeries. I, I mean, I did write a song about it. It's called Boobies and Butts, and it's available <laughs> on my <laughs> limited my LP <laughs> that I released. Was, nice. was that a rap? Was that was that was that a rap or just a straight up like lyrical song? I, I forget. <laughs> um, it's a. I would describe it as more like R and B. <laughs> it's not full rap it's more like um hip hop pop hip hop pop <laughs> hip hop pop <laughs> yeah it's like a a hip hop pop um blend with an r&b and some like metal oh yeah i know i know that type electronic right? electronic folk yeah folk? Um, alternative right alter alternative you, right you're just saying you're just saying genres of music, it seems. Classical. Like classical. It, but like a vocal with <laughs> classical. Acapella. But, the, um. but then... Are you <laughs> looking them up right now? <laughs> what are you thumbing? Are you thumbing? Are you on iTunes right now? A music encyclopedia? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I ran out of kinds. I read them all. I ran out of kinds. Ran out of genre. So you're saying... But that described that song. I ran out of genres that describe that song. It transcends. It transcends yeah. all genres. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What does Bryce is asking, just as, uh, in general, what was the most nervous moment of your career? Like an audition, a big scene, et cetera? Ooh, Bryce. <laughs> Good question. Ooh, what's the most nervous? I'm sure during an audition. I still get very nervous auditioning. Uh, it's a very, it doesn't, it's like, not conducive necessarily to good performance. And <laughs> I feel like, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of like a notable 
um, once I auditioned for Cameron Crowe and I was such a fan of his mm -hmm. films and he was, it was such a cool audition. Actually, I feel like he did everything he could to put me at ease so that I wouldn't be nervous. And he was like very interactive in terms of giving <laughs> right. direction. And, and I sort of felt like, oh, this is great. And then I looked down like halfway through the audition and realized that I had sweat, like flop sweat through my shirt <laughs> to such disgusting degrees that wow. I was like, oh, I am quite nervous. And oh. then I just had to keep doing this audition to play like, you know, I don't know, the love interest of somebody. <laughs> right. <something>. <laughs> just <laughs> like. Way. Hey, what are you doing here? Just like <laughs> giant circles of like sweat on my gray t-shirt. Thank God I was auditioning for an air condition repairman. And that's why I got the job as the, rest as the is head history. of that coolant company on Say Anything. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that scene. From that, right? Uh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> in the script, it called for your character to reach for something high on the shelf during the scene. You've been like, I... I was like, uh, they were like, right. So then you get the pot from behind your cooking. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, I'll just get it from down here. And they were like, it's really important to it's us really that you get it <laughs> from a higher shelf. Better. For the but my character, truth of the character. My character has vertigo from intense heights. <laughs> so. I, to this day, uh, I think that's why I didn't get the part. I didn't, <laughs> the problem I, I didn't audition for Sidney Pollock one time. Ooh. Wow. And... I was wearing a blue, a light blue dress shirt. And I, it, it was as if uh, I had been shot in my armpits because they were so, there was so much sweat that I couldn't even hide it. Mm -hmm. And it was going down my arm. And I was just like, uh, yeah, it just looks like the guy's a heroin addict and he's going through a withdrawal. Isn't that great for the scene? Same. No. <laughs> Same. I kept, I kept getting notes like, she's, she's actually feeling good about seeing this guy in the scene, you know? So it's more casual and relaxed and joyful. And I'd be like, definitely, definitely. <laughs> I'm ready to go. And then I smell him like this. <laughs> it's a little Molly Shannon there. It's like a little smell. It's a little Molly Shannon shout out. A little Molly Shannon shout I out. adore Molly Shannon. Molly Shannon and I do maybe the thing. nicest human being in the world. She's just a hero of mine and one of the nicest ones. I'm I don't have any stories because I'm off. Wow. Her. You I'm really off, a couple. Uh, well, I'm I'm a, I'm off her only. Gabe yeah, is like, asking no, which no, characters she's, have she's, she's a hero. She's an absolute uh, Marvel hero icon. Now, Abby. Gabe, not Abby, is asking which characters would have their own podcast and what would it be about? I could see Britta attempting to start yes. a podcast, but like maybe it never gets off the ground. Right, right. <laughs> it could be like a true That's... crime. It should be exposing. It would yes. be political. Yeah. Very political. Mm -hmm. She'd be like, she would want to be like Mark Marin, but couldn't. You know, <laughs> she'd be like, you know, she get in would in her own way. Get, yeah, she would get in her own way. That'd be like, I think it's a great. I think Abed could have his own podcast. He could. He would have a great movie podcast. Yeah, I feel like Josh rewatch. Horowitz's podcast is probably similar to what Abed's podcast would be. Whose podcast is that? Josh Horowitz. Who, who, what is his? It's, uh, the podcast is Happy, Sad, Confused. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was just a genuine question. Guys, Not a bit. <laughs> guys, you're really coming after me. <laughs> no, I'm not attacking you. I wasn't attacking you. Uh, viewers just, know this podcast. I'm not yeah, saying I'm sure, anything. I'm yeah. just saying that's no, a cool podcast no, 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 about no, no, movies. No, no, and Abed no. would have one that's similar. No, no. I'm just saying it, it, was, like, it was fine. No. Really. Now I'm like being attacked. No, no. No, no, I, I just, I feel like you're just kind of projecting just kind of the, the argument we had about your hat. It's just, it's okay. You it's, hate I get my it, hat. No, no, I don't hate your hat. Extra. It was, it was just, no, I know, it's been a lot. <laughs> Allison, I, I'm going to defend him here because he gets really jealous of anybody else's podcast and oh. <laughs> doesn't want to hear of it. So he's no. like, I don't know who you're Wait. talking about. Yes, I'm very, I'm very jealous about everyone. Yeah, we'll, uh, very every jealous podcast. about all, every podcast I'm jealous. What is, um, this is just a general question right now. Sarah's asking, what is your quarantine habit hobby? You know, habit or habit hobby. Habit hobby. Habit slash Is it inflatable uh, 
Yeah, I've been into it. This actually, you guys, you think it's just a hat, but it's actually a very fun game <laughs> in which there are inflatable rings and you toss them, your partner tosses them and you try to hook them on the unicorn. So you're telling me in your downtime, private time, you, Allison Brie and Dave Franco play rings <laughs> on your unicorn hat. And Dave That's tosses like them. That's like what you we're, do. And we're very good at it. <laughs> We've done it twice. We've done it twice. <laughs> And I was never the tosser. I was just the receiver both times. All right, all right. And... It's a point. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm being genuine. <laughs> this is actually genuine. But anyway, even more genuine, I guess, writing. I'm doing a lot of writing. Yeah, you are, you are, you are and... multi-hyphenate now. You're just everything. It's great. <laughs> and humble too. I know. You're so humble. I'm like the most humble person I know. <laughs> you, you, you are. You, you told me that one time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That? I like to tell everybody, so just make sure that they yeah, know. Yeah, I got that I mean? text. You know, hey, man, <laughs> I was just thinking about myself. <laughs> and I'm really humble. Thank God, I'm so humble. Just want to make sure you just were thinking sure about you know that, that, too. that piece. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I have been writing a lot, yes, with Dave and also with my writing partner, Jeff Baina. So that's been like a semi-new type of thing that I've gotten into that's been so helpful during quarantine. And I've yeah. been trying to work out, do a little workout in my home. I feel well, like we were that... talking about the last podcast. You had like a fa you do you have yeah. a FaceTime trainer, like uh Yes, yeah. but also on my own, you know, and there are people actually my trainer on Instagram is rise movement, Jason Walsh. And if you look back in his feed, he actually posted some great workouts that people can do at home with like nothing. So if you have no equipment, but you want to, maybe you're going a little stir crazy and you have extra energy. Hey, Guys, Alvin. I got really genuine. I get really serious. No, that's real. No, I'm, I'm that, transfixed. That all, that all flew over Ken's head. Uh, so can you, oh, Ken. <laughs> it's yes. like, um, Exercise is like <laughs> a physical so, <laughs> thing you do so. for your body, um, movement, sometimes strength training. It's to, to strengthen your body and mm. your heart and things like that. So that's what I'm talking about. Question. Are crullers involved? You know, crullers like donuts? Some, no. Okay. No. Just wondering. Pass. As a quick like pass. A nice hot crueler. <laughs> <laughs> John <laughs> VIP. Says the dean says Jeff is the second most attractive student. Who is the first? Oh, oh, as Allison Whoa. takes off her hat, maybe she's just who is the first? <laughs> I mean, you be the judge. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, maybe Dave. Do you remember the character Dave? He existed. That's no. like, let me wipe some of my oil You're... out of the. Wait, Dave? <laughs> there was a student named Dave and Dave? your student Joel, especially in season five or six. <laughs> Wait, I feel like you're just making that up. I really I'm like... definitely not making it up. Guys, <laughs> why would I make that up? Also, how could I forget it? Dave, there's a character named Dave. My husband's oh. name is Dave. Like, <laughs> hello. I just don't think is it, it says Dave. Did you write Dave? I'm just taking but, notes. <laughs> I just want you guys to know it sounds like I'm being sarcastic, but I'm 100% genuine when I say there is a character on community named Dave and the fans know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Well, wow, you really finished that with a flourish. I know, man. Classic. That's classic baby face stuff. Yeah, it's <laughs> like rile them up. Uh, yeah. I, I'm actually a heel, Ken. Oh, you you think you think Ruth is a Ru, yeah Ruth is a heel, right? Because you're the the Russian. Um, yeah, you're right. You're but Ru Annie's a baby, baby. <laughs> so we're both right. You're right. I already forgot that I said that earlier. This is yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Sarah VIP says, Joel, what do you think of the evolution of Jeff's wardrobe? Do you still have any of his clothes? Oh yeah, yeah, a lot. Uh, really? that was nice stuff. The sweaters yeah. alone are, yeah, no, there were, I believe me, uh, I, every time I'd get a new, like, yes, this is a great sweater. And Jim, Jim would see like <laughs> a new, like, cause I was wearing new clothes in every episode and Jim would see it and just be like, so fucking jealous. 
and because uh, <laughs> of the gym jim's outfit as a dean with the yeah. same the and same shirt at the same time told, everybody could just take i was like uh, we should be able to take all our clothes and then i got everybody else to do it and we just raided the because we knew the show was yes. gonna end. We got, yes, but then it, but it was like, as you're saying, it was better for some than others. I think even yeah. I was like, yes, I'm just like raided a bunch sweaters. of Annie's clothes, just had a bunch of H&M sweaters <laughs> at my house and then like got home and was like, I don't want to wear that. Like, why would I? I mean, Annie's so cute. I'm not trying to disparage her wardrobe, but no, no, it's no, like no. It's we spent classic. so many hours playing those right. characters. Like I would get home and be like, why would I want to put on that costume I was just wearing yeah. for the last five days? And it's not like joel's which was like a very expensive leather jacket a yep. new one every day <laughs> and i really look forward to allison's uh spokesperson uh campaign for h&m <laughs> i'm just saying uh no, Netflix, no, I think sony h&m things i love <laughs> and allison <laughs> You know what? I have I have an idea. I think because we want it like all the fans here have, you know, uh, paid good money and especially coming out here on a Monday. Well, I want to answer. We can do a rapid fire. We'll do some rapid fire Q&A. Q I real have quick. to pee. Should I go pee during yeah. the rapid fire? I probably would. Uh, after? We can... <laughs> or before? You know Should I, I think... go pee now? Seriously. I yeah, you can, rapid fire you can go, you can go pee. Joel and I, you can go pee. Joel and I will just talk. And then after the pee, then uh, we'll do the rapid fire. How about that? Do not do <laughs> rapid fire without me. Oh, I promise, Scout's on her. Go ahead. No, you take a break, and Ken and I will not <laughs> rapid fire. Do I have to bring you guys to the bathroom with me? No. <laughs> Why well, would you? It doesn't even make any sense. Oh, no. <laughs> what if she never kidding, comes I'm back? Kidding, I'm kidding. What if she never comes <laughs> back? She could just never come back. Uh, yeah, I, I actually, I'm a little. My instinct was to actually say, we got it, we got it, we got to do it now. But then I just, I, I'm nervous that, uh, just nervous that this is. <laughs> well, she's got, a she's got like, a nice painting and those curtains are really cool. Um, yeah, it's a different, it, I think she's really upgraded her, uh, her, her, her Zoom's got a nice painting there. Let like me ask said. you this, Ken. Uh, <laughs> Allison, what were your favorite behind the scenes bits? No, no, no don't do that. <laughs> it's like we're <laughs> John wants to know. Oh yeah, um, Allison, what were your favorite behind the scenes bit uh, bits? Uh, do I, should I do it in Allison's voice? I don't know. If, I don't feel comfortable, but uh, should I do it in Allison's voice? Is it just going to be like Ozzy Osbourne again? No. <laughs> I think I, that, that's no, I wasn't going to do that, but I think it was, yeah, it was just great. Yeah. I think just going in there was just it was like. You know, it was at a carnival, and it? it was just like Jeff and Annie going, going in a carnival with Cotton Corn and meeting Blade. I think it was Jeff. And <laughs> <laughs> you made a Blade reference? That was a Blade reference. Remember, there was like it was just like an old boyfriend of Britta's in it, and they were just like snipes. No, remember it was this act. This funny actor, Kurt. Oh Bob, yeah, and he oh, played man. a guy named Blade. That was like a, yeah, That's Gillian's. Right. Gillian's ex-boyfriend and, and I know that guy and he's just like it couldn't be anything like different from what you think Blade is he just, it just made me it just made me laugh here's it <laughs> we answered a lot of your questions we answered so. a lot of your questions a lot of your questions <laughs> oh, don't cry. hey Allison no we can't have another cry I'm sorry sorry oh, here, oh come on this a joke joking. I'm, I'm so, look I'm joking. we're joking I'm sorry sorry we're not gonna we're just kidding. I won't, I won't even make those jokes again. Not even to other guests. I'm so sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, it's just look. It it was just. I accept. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's get into that rapid fire. Oh. <laughs> the clubs I go to. <laughs> They just have like a guy with little guns, being like, pew, 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 little like <laughs> paintball guns, and that's how they get everybody like amped. I, I gotta ask you on the rental when you're doing when your character's doing the ecstasy scenes. I bet there's so much on the cutting floor of just like you, you're just doing so. And Dave, <laughs> the Dave and everyone going, okay, I think we're good. I could just see you oh. as an actor like I was like, oh, I got more, I got more. <laughs> no, you know, I think we're moving on. We gotta, we, you know, running out of light. It, it was <laughs> more like more. it was more like Davey running in every time and being like. Think less. Yes, I can totally. I'm like, 
I got it. Yes, respect. Hey, can we do this one without a dildo? Just right right now. <laughs> can we just do this without one? I feel oh, like hey, the I'm penis fort. <laughs> the penis fort won't survive without the dill. You know what without, I mean? Is that what you call it? The dill. A little bit of mix in a little dill. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look, this is a reference to Dildopolis. Right. Um, Annie's of which Annie lived. Right. Well, seasons and a great pierce joke where he after they fight oh, in the episode he's like I love next time i come to dildopolis i'm not gonna come upstairs <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's a great joke and actually that's a great question cole asks what were your favorite moments with chevy i think for me watching watching him do and you had talked about this joel with when you're doing the the punching scene um god if season one i just saw the outtake like you you li- his shoulder was like man <laughs> worried that it was dislocated because he was daring you to punch him it was like like you know like on the on the gloves i hit him in the hand because he yes. didn't think he was hitting him hard enough right and i i mean i put this in my stand-up as more yeah. of a therapy because he was like always going you're not hitting me i'm like we're acting we're, all <laughs> joking. we're making this is acting and he's like you're not hitting me and i'm like all right and i hit him in the left hand with a left and i'm right-handed comes to that and then that's he right that's <laughs> okay tamra asked do you have any advice Wait. for oh i'm sorry uh, allison what's your favorite chevy movie sorry i just was trying to do right oh yeah i thought this was supposed to be rapid fire ken <laughs> <laughs> that's all i wanted to say <laughs> yeah and Tamara is asking, do you have, do you have any advice for young actors in this time? Like, um, I don't nope. know. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Okay. Next, this is rapid okay. fire. Patrick is asking, would you imagine the, com- what would you imagine the community movie to be about? Nope. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> next. <laughs> I think, you know, there, there's always that there's always that historically people would talk about the search for Troy episode. That could be amazing if we could get Donald the man on the planet. <laughs> that apparently Allison doesn't want. What do you want? The search for Annie? Should it be a search? For Annie? <laughs> ah, I don't know. Guys, it's like my body's reacting. I don't even <laughs> yeah. can't control it. Amazing. Search for Annie. <laughs> Woo! It's like there's little people living inside of me and I'm a slave to what they want. And you're like, and I'm right here. I'm Annie. <laughs> and then like the movie's like five minutes long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like guys, where's Annie? Oh, I've just been standing over here, guys. <laughs> oh my God. That's great. And then nah, credits. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> and then the search for Troy begins. And it's just a bit, it's like, actually, that would be a good start to the community. Actually, that would be a good, excellent. That's not actually, <laughs> Laura VIP is asking, Joel, can Joel and Kara can share their most awkward dad jokes? I don't know, awkward dad. Thanks jokes. for leaving me out at that no, <laughs> Look, hey, um, do, you, do you have any awkward dad jokes that you like to say on the road <laughs> when you do your stand up? You know, my favorite <laughs> dad joke <laughs> is. Uh, it's a. I, 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 I keep all my dad jokes in the penis fort. And- <laughs> <laughs> okay, good one. Good one. Um, okay. David VIP, when you signed up, to the show did you have any idea the show would play with so much format like such as big genre parody episodes no we 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 didn't know going in it would like once halloween i think happened then you're like i think it was a game changer then that that was kind of yeah oh yeah i definitely didn't know i just felt like the pilot was so well written and it was so funny and i thought joel would be amazing and like the cat you know i think everyone the cast we just thought oh this will be like the best version of this kind of a college group of friends show. Like, uh, and then it, yeah, it just evolved. Everybody clicked in in the Halloween episode and then paintball season one, I feel like. And then it was just like, I I wonder if Dan even had always planned that or if he just, as he kept writing was like, now I'm going to crack it wide open or what. Because we really didn't know until, like, I mean, Paintball was, like, the 23rd episode that we shot that first season. So God, it was... We did so many episodes the first prior, few seasons. Yeah, it was 25 episodes, which is, like, an eternity for, I mean, it, you know, nowadays in Netflix, like Glow, Netflix has 10 episodes per season. And that's, oh, yeah. you know... I'm interested. Keep going. <laughs> Go <And> then, on. <laughs> yeah. I like the platform. I like the number of episodes. <laughs> I'm listening. No, and then also... <laughs> I just, got a mix of I, comedy and drama for me. <laughs> I loved how at the beginning of season three, when that, you know, we're going to finally be fine. 
because yes. Dan had gotten a note going like, make the show normal. And he's like, uh, oh, no problem. No problem. And then just was like, we're going to, it was, that made me so happy. I was never. I, so. It was like, he was constantly taking that as a challenge to right. not do like, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When the third season starts with you flying in the air, like Superman. <laughs> Just, you come out in a suit of money. Yes. <laughs> so insane. Yeah. It's so good. Um, okay, here. Uh, John asked, Ken, what was it like filming the scenes in the air events? Uh, the, the set, the construct and design, they, they would actually put it on tables. Like the air. Remember, Joel, like you yeah. and I got, I think we, we would have a fight in an air event like the third uh, season. I, yeah, and I, you hurt your shoulder, I remember. I, no, I think you know, that was somewhere else, but I, I, I remember scraping, like, I remember yeah, scraping I, myself. The first injury I got on community was in that vent because I yeah. scraped it across a nail. Yeah. And I remember going Ooh. like, oh, that, 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 I'm going to have to, I don't know how we're going to, because he had to keep showing my hands. Yes. Moving forward, I'm just, I was like, guys, this is what I was doing. And yeah, I, I, what I'm saying is I have a hard life. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, that does sound rough joel thank you alton <laughs> john i think i'm just to, just to acknowledge john allison what your favorite behind the scenes bit i think we've talked about several justin what your favorite moments for annie thank Gabe. you okay. john thank mm -hmm. you john and john I is also asking them. <laughs> yeah john's asking which community character is handling isolation best it's a good question uh wow. well <laughs> i know it's like it's fire yeah no. <laughs> I've said jokingly, like Jeff decided to become an actor with Potashnik and actually do the hard drive and wingman show. Oh, that's so funny. Oh. And at the time, I was like, they shot it in Vietnam because there was very little COVID there. Right. I was. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh Allison. i want to say i think abed would do well in quarantine because he loves watching movies yeah. and i think True. he also would enjoy interacting with people online you know jeff would do terrible because he likes to you know become physical with have sex he likes to get down and dirty <laughs> in the bedroom oh jeff winger sexy time sex guy into is, sex is there a sex gremlin <laughs> he has a gremlin who wants him oh, oh jeff winger get out of here. Sex. have you seen <laughs> big mouth Stop bothering me on <laughs> netflix <laughs> why are you doing netflix in a porno like vo like a guy who does like vivid videos does a vo for oh yeah I'm sex <laughs> jeff winger sex guy and big mouth on netflix yeah those are the two things i love jeff <laughs> winger having sex and Netflix. Uh, Sarah's asking Allison, can you rap again? Well, I think you heard her rap just now. Yeah, we've done, I've thing. done enough, but thank you. you. <laughs> Adam, Ken, your episode of Hot Ones was hilarious. Which of your cast members would you like to see in the hot seat? Um, love to see Joel. Al I'll be, have you seen Sean Evans' Hot Ones on YouTube? Uh, I love that endlessly. It's amazing. It, yeah, uh, it was a lot of, I mean, do you like hot wings? Um, the, the bigger question is, you know, do you like spicy foods, hot wings? Can you, I mean, really spicy yeah. Allison's um, interested. Joel, he's talking to you. No, I'm talking, talking to you, Allison. Allison. How about you, I'm Allison? I was scheduled to do it, and then yeah. I don't know what happened. So I, and then I, all I was trying to do was get back on the show, and it still has not worked out. It, <laughs> and, you, and you will have the best episode, because you, you will be able to handle the spicier food. I love spicy food, but there's a, when I reach that threshold... I will enter. I'll be on. It'll. I'll. I don't know what, how I'll react. Into the sex zone. <laughs> With the, uh, really? Jeff Winger. <laughs> two hot peppers. Sex. I'm not, I don't know why I would be. I feel like it would. No. I don't. Yeah, it's one way this can go once we get to the hottest pepper. <laughs> Jeff Winger, sex time. I'm not going on as Jeff Winger. I'm Jeff Winger. Sex. I feel like the sex gremlin has crept into my own life, but still thinks I'm a. 
Yeah, it does oh. remind me of the Portuguese gremlins that you did. Like, Chichu, Chichu. Yeah, I loved when you did that, dude. That voice came out of nowhere. You're like, hi. Chichu, Chichu. Chichu. <laughs> that, you know what? It's a, another episode, and it's not that episode, but I just thought another one of my favorite Annie moments is when me <laughs> and Abed in season five played the video game, a like VCR video game. Yes. And we're like, pow, six. <laughs> You know, didn't you have like uh, your brother, like Annie's brother was my brother who was played uh, by Dan Harmon's assistant dungeon master out in Harmontown. Um, yes. So nice. Oh, Spencer. Spencer. Spencer, Thank you. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Um, And also Brie Larson is in that episode as Abed's girlfriend. And she Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. And then also Vince Gilligan was in that VCR <laughs> Vince Gilligan is the host the of the VCR game. And oh my God, actually, yeah. that is one of my favorite tags yep, yep. of I know the episode, saying. which is Vince Gilligan and, and, and oh Gina God, Gershon. Gina thank Gershon. you. And Gina Gershon is his wife be like, honey, you booked the game. And he's like, but I feel like we should invest in something very, or he's it like, was Apple, it, Apple computers. He invested in Apple computers. <laughs> he's like, no. V- VCR video games. That's the future. We're going to be rich. <laughs> That's so good. And can I also say about Ooh. the tags that the season six tags are super Epic. funny and like Epic. the weirdest the tags have ever been. And the tag to the very, very last episode yep. of all is like a family playing a board game. And it ends with Dan Harmon doing the VO of like, mm. you know, what do you call it? All the disclaimers for this, this video game made. Da, 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 and then goes yeah. on this tear about the show, which is so funny. And also I had to, I, while listening to it, I like to picture Dan doing multiple takes and like getting pissed. Like Dan r- recording it. And yeah. Frustrated I do remember mind. when Wayne Fetterman, the, the actor, he's a brilliant comic. He was the father in that tag. Oh. And the kids, the kids like, he goes, I think we're doing to do this and this. And, and he, <laughs> when he goes, just, oh, can't you see, you stupid child? We're, we're not real. <laughs> just, just, just so it's hard. so genuine. It's, it's very hard so thought. real. It's really good. Okay, so um, Jamie VIP is asking, what is your favorite non-community work of your fellow podcasters? Um, Ooh. Favorite non I, non uh, like um, Joel, like, like Dak Shepard is like you know uh, you know he's he does great work. Why, why are you bringing there you up? go. No, no, wait. Is that are what it means? Saying, there's asking of our favorite non-community projects that are. Oh, of us. I'm sorry, Jesus. I read. It. Yeah. What's your I favorite? I like work? Joel's okay. sinister turn in Assassination Nation. Oh. Pretty edgy. I was Damn. very excited about it. I mean, just like as an actor for Joel. Right. Right. I play right. very, very bad person. A bad person, yes. <laughs> like it's no fun. It's, I mean, I had fun. I love that. I love making that movie, but it it's was, a cool movie. I liked you in the informant. I love the. I love that movie. Ooh, man. Yeah. It's great, really, it's a great movie. Or you just, yeah. I think that. Uh, I like you guys. Uh, your appearances on the stoop were incredible. <laughs> yes. Oh. That's that is true. That is good. That was that was definitely definitely the highlight. Yeah, yeah. Ken, you're I so like funny. Just pops up in like a Steven Spielberg movie. I know. You see, <laughs> that's when, like, when I see something like that. I mean, I get, like it's like my just, I, yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm so I get so happy. I'm just. I'm, like, She's in a Spielberg movie, and my I'm, girl did it. <laughs> my girl that's, what? that's what no. we when we see you in a movie like that we'll text you that's our girl that's our girl <laughs> that's how i say slow it. nod um well i like ken in everything ken i feel like li- truly davy and i were just talking about oh because i had the tv on and it was role models and out oh, you yeah. came with your crown on the <laughs> king of xanthia or whatever right. yeah. the Fuck, and we were just like, yeah. fucking Ken. Ken's yep. career is <laughs> phenomenal. <laughs> and like <laughs> lately, I mean, just I know I texted you when I was when we were rewatching Knocked That's, Up, right, and I right, was like, right. God, it's so funny to watch you 
in other stuff because I feel like there's just some glimpses of Chang. Right, there's the, little the, gl- the, gl- the you know gleam in your eye. Right. Like you could, I it's fun to look at the whole trajectory. Well, Kenny- thanks for mentioning role models because that that had everybody, every, all the people now in role models are just a listers and 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 directed by your friend Joel David Wayne. He's just a genius. So and also starring Chris Mintz Plus, who yeah. Joel plays Call of Duty Tonight. with. Right. I'm very happy that we And talked. he's a friend of mine too, so then it ties together because he's also my friend. <laughs> Someday you could be friends with him too, Ken, maybe. Oh I what we we're, we're in well, role models we together. Started, we we did a we, we did role models. We became friends. Like probably oh. be, probably before either one of you we became friends oh, with like, I always go like with Jim and Ken, they would come into scenes and I'd be like, I don't know what's really funny, and then they would do things, and I'd be like, "Oh my lords!" Like in Crazy Rich Asians, where yeah. Spear was just like, my wife was like, "Yeah, he stole." The-. I mean, it's like it's like, yeah, you come in, it's just like, oh, and then I oh, do kind of you're like, agree. now I'm gonna leave, and I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna pick up my glass like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, and they were the same on Community. <laughs> Anytime you guys would come in, and your bits would be just so hilarious, and we would all be dying laughing. And we also would be like, if it were Jim, we would be crying, dying laughing. If it were Ken, we'd be laughing, and also <laughs> being like, "What is he doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Will it ever come back around to it was like different the lanes? Script? Yeah, it was different lanes of crazy, which was it, it was just it's a it's a pleasure that they they can carve out different lanes for us. I love you and Glow. I would have to say you and Glow, like my wife and I, Tran and I, Directed even if we're friends with you, we worship that show. I just think that show is just are everything and you just carry it so and it, it just there you know i've just texted you Thank so many you. times and it's just like there is so much going on and then that that whole ensemble i've like uh, i think through you i've met virtually everybody there and i it, you could just tell it's such a friendly lovely set and they're just uh god damn it it's just that that ensemble that's really you know, it's like, oh. it's pretty amazing when you have, you know, you going on Glow, Donald on Atlanta. Like, even if I didn't know you guys, like, those are my favorite shows. It's insane. It's like really Dan good. Huh? And Dan Stevens. It always comes and Dan, back. And classic Steve. Dan. I mean, but when you oh, started. thank you for saying no, that. Oh, but you're, but now you're, I mean, I, I got to ask you this. I don't think I asked you in the last part. I mean, do you want to direct more now that you're doing more writing, producing, because you're directing episodes of Glow? And, yeah. Yeah. I definitely do. Um, I directed, yeah, I directed one episode of Glow only, and then I actually directed an episode of another kind of show uh, that was a that's a documentary kind of thing. And like, uh, I'm just, yeah, I think it's really fun. And also on Horse Girl, which I'm I, not right, right. saying this just to be, but just no. quite bluntly, it is on Netflix. <laughs> and um, <laughs> and um, I co-wrote it and produced it. So I That's feel right. like it's been fun to dabble on the other side of the camera for sure. And a very different kind of beast. And like, <laughs> yeah, it's very all about Steve, you know, like that's a lot of my inspiration. I realize there's a halo. That looks um, like a boob. I'm Bradley, I'm Bradley Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now we know um okay i th- i think we are oh my goodness i th- i think we are done with the questions i think we are what all is- thanks to laura eric justin david Rowett, sarah bryce john clark john colin john justin gabe john sarah andridge sarah stacy adam lord jamie robert patrick cole jenny patrick Tamara, Tamara, and and Vikram had a like Vikram's name's there, but I don't see a question. Oh, that's so kind of Vikram to just say, uh, "I have a question," but not say what the he question. He goes, "When will this end?" Then he said, <laughs> that "Forget was his it." He goes, "Forget it. I'm out of here." <laughs> well, guys, we, we did it. We did it. I just thank you guys for like being here. Love you, Ali. Kind of love you, Joel. I just thank Aww. everybody here for. Doing like just asking these questions. It's so fun to just revisit just Allison, something. Thank you so much for and then give it up for Allison. Thanks like, and for please check me out the all rental. Five dances. Oh, yes. all five, five cans. Please check out the rental. It you will not be disappointed. It is really and horse really, girl. And horse squirrel. Yes. Yeah. And just yeah. So Go and then guys. Joel and Becky. You did great in I mean Oh my and, god, and, yeah, you gotta check out Becky. It's so fun. Becky. And it's a different type of movie for Joel also. Yeah. 
which I like because you were, you know, you played someone who is a loving father at, at your core, loving father. You know, Very, I, it's I a big that was, stretch. Yeah. <laughs> I I look forward to you know podcasts like this because it keeps me away from them. Yes, yes, we know. Um, but again, <laughs> thank you, thank you, everyone at Loop Live, OMG VIP. Joel is still here to like do VIP VIPs, and Joel yeah, yeah, is yeah. the best, you know, with the OMG VIP. So stick around, Allison Bree. Thank you so much. You're my mother. Guys, my I'm son, <laughs> I love you forever. I love you very much. I'm so proud of you, love Joel McHale. So nice to meet you. Um, I'm a big fan, and my and son, I love you. Get- and if we get Bradley, Tom, or Sandy on the show, that, that would that would be great. That would be amazing. That would be almost as good as this episode. Yeah, almost, almost, almost. Um, almost but truly, good. thanks for having me, you guys. It's Thank always you. so fun to see you. And I agree. Thanks to whatever fans, if you're still watching, if you haven't left us. Um, because of me just being too annoying, then no. thank you for being here. <laughs> it is very fun to have a reason to reminisce and hang out with these guys. Yeah. And, Especially and my excuse- son who doesn't call me enough. I'm sorry. I've been, yeah. But I'm right. not trying to guilt you, you know, no. because I uh, love you and everything you do. Thank you, mom. I'm proud. sorry. It's like it's, a guilt trip. It yeah. like guilt trip. No, no, no. I'm not, he, I know he's very busy and he <laughs> has busy. a lot that's more important than speaking no, to his mother. No, nothing more important than family. Um, I've he, said that many he, times. He's moving in on the camera when you, and you make. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not, I love him <laughs> no, so much no, no. and I'm not at all um, <laughs> trying to guilt him, but he, I, it would be nice, <laughs> I think, for a mother to know that her son cares about her and loves don't. her and reaches out is a nice thing when no. anybody do, does it, but I'm not saying anything. You're doing- I'm not trying to guilt him. You got no, right no. in the camera and said, you know, like, this is what you would like. And- no, no, I'm just saying it's it's a real treat to see your face now, my son. You know, it would I would love to see it even more than, I, than I'm, but right now is also good. And so we have to just be grateful for every moment we have because there's not <laughs> too many of them. Wow. And I have to thank ask you, this you bo- to the fans. <laughs> and good night. <laughs> good night. All right. Bye. <laughs> I think she's left, but maybe she's still here. I don't know if she's still here. This is classic Allison. Does she leave? <laughs> <laughs> It's, what are you still doing here? Well, we it's four it's, hours later. We I, I turned this off. We can't, they won't let us out of the show. We just have to keep going. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh my god. god. This could oh be my oh my god. This could be some sort of rental spin home. <laughs> <laughs> rental to <laughs> penis <laughs> fort. <laughs> Once you've entered, you can never get out. Unless Allison Brie returns! <laughs> boobies and butts. Boobies and, then, and butts. And director Dave boobies, Franco boobies, goes... Boobies, boobies and butts. And then oh, and, and, uh, <laughs> and director Dave Franco goes, Hey, Allison, would you mind just pulling it back? <laughs> could you just have a little just... less... If you, uh, you know, a note that you're used to hearing uh, directors give to Ken, if you could just... <laughs> And then I oh. said, oh, now I know. Oh, oh. oh too much Ken. Got too, it, much got it, Ken. Got it, got it. too much Ken Jung. Oh, my God. I'm I was so Kenning. Sorry. I was Kenning. I was, <laughs> I was, Ken. I was Ken Junging. I'm so sorry. I said, Dave, don't, but... don't Ken the camera. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> and that's weak. Joel, All right. <laughs> little final thing. Guys, final thing before we. Final, final thing. Um, final thing. Oh, no. She's Joel, froze a little you... bit. Okay. Oh, no. Back Joel. Up. You're back. No, no. Joel, do you remember when you and I posted a picture of a side by side of a picture of my cleavage yeah. and the top of your butt crack? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. we posted it on Twitter for people to decide which was boobies and which was a butt. It That's was a where the. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's so weird. She exits like that. I literally worry about her neck. Whoa. We lost her. That's it. <laughs> Blood? You do that from a standing position. You've awakened me. <laughs> yeah, my abs are out of control. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Jason Walsh ride ride. Oh my god, just your train. Just <laughs> Hashtag Jason Walsh. <laughs>
<laughs> well, there she goes again. She oh, goes again. again. <laughs> <laughs> now she fell down. Poop. I just hear a plonk. You just hear. Hurt herself. I know. Wow. <laughs> oh, guys, I just got to get my workout in every day. <laughs> Just, is there another? <laughs> Don't yell. You cry. You to cry. Why are you crying after work? Because I love it. Because I love it. That's the only reason. <laughs> not, 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 not because you feel like you have to. You just like. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I have to because of society. <laughs> <laughs> because I love it. That doesn't seem like you love it. Yeah, is that is that what you look like on Women's Health magazine? You went like this, <laughs> like that. Strange. Which that's you're a cover on? Side, I do love, I do love physical fitness, especially. No, since that's why you're on the cover of Women's Health magazine. You with you, my you, body through yeah. glow <laughs> on Netflix. Uh, you, I gotta go. Okay. I think I do have to go. You know what? I do have to go. <laughs> and secondly, I think you also want me to go and asked me to go several minutes ago. <laughs> So, whatever you want. your face. <laughs> we, not have not, we said thank you for being Anyway, on. thank you for having me. <laughs> I love you both very much. And thank you to the fans for watching. You guys are fucking awesome. And take that, everybody. So, <laughs> goodbye. It, it was my pleasure. I loved this very much. And I love you both very much. So, in your faces. <laughs> Here she is. And seen. And seen. And wow. seen. Love you guys. Bye. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. That was amazing.